STV, votre télé. The 100 senators of the second legislature are heading to their respective constituencies with a message of unity, tolerance, and for Cameroonians to showcase a strong desire to live together. A call made by Senate President Masenyat Njifenji during the close of the first ordinary session of the Senate as of right Tuesday in Yaoundé. To achieve their delicate task, they have been charged to show proof of rigor and assiduity in the discharge of their duties. Masenyat Njifenji says that the Senate is now mature to tackle future engagements, the optimization of resources and competencies, as well as development of infrastructure are variables that will guide the progressive setting up of the Senate. The Secretary General of the Senate in this light has been charged with drawing an elaborate plan of action to strengthen the functioning of the House. While acknowledging that Cameroon is going through turbulent times, the Senate President has pledged the unconditional contribution of the Upper House of Parliament in providing solutions to problems plaguing Cameroonians. The just ended session has been punctuated by the verification of mandates which saw 16 senators aligning with the incompatibility clause of the House by giving up other state engagements. A permanent bureau and nine commissions have also been put in place to get the Senate up and running for the second legislature. Relief from his duties as commander of the 21st Motorized Infantry Brigade in the Southwest region, Brigadier General Donatien Melungui Numa will have spent eight months heading the region after his appointment in July 2017. Assigned to crack down on the heightening insecurity in the region, General Numa is sent back to the defense headquarters at the time when insecurity has escalated. Heavy fighting, attacks on administrative authorities and the armed force Destruction of properties and killings have deteriorated. Several inhabitants of villages under his area of command have deserted their homes and those present live in constant fear. Before his dismissal, the ex-commander in an interview with an online media agency, AFP, confirmed rumors on social media on the alleged burning of houses by his troops. To him, the house is set ablaze contained weapons. His declaration could be seen as a big blow to government, who has previously rejected all accusations. General Numa also admitted on TV and television the strength of the unknown fighters and their mastery of villages and forests, highlighting the weaknesses of his troops in combating the enemy. The new commander of the 21st Motorized Infantry Brigade in the Southwest region, Colonel Josa, has the huge responsibility of putting an end to the unending fighting, killings, destructions in the region. Three hours is the time allocated to the March Pass of the 46th edition of the National Day Celebrations at the Valley de la Beseke Ceremonial Ground in Douala, come May 20, 2018. A national event to group the military, students from five divisions in the Vui and all registered political parties. In the primary school, we have one square of 45 uh, children and in the secondary and the university we have one square of 80 persons, one flag and the message is only the band who has passed before, so uh, center for training and political parties. Special schools have been reserved to actors involved in the preparations of the 2019 African Cup of Nations. Uh, this time, 
we are not only celebrating unity, but we are also preparing the African Cup of Nations. So that's why we are going to make a, a kind of sign of good preparation of the ceremony. And uh, we have, uh, when the, the march pass we going on, you see a square of people that are representing the organizations. Activities of the National Day in the Litwa region will focus on promoting unity and multiculturalism. And we want to give to the Litwa region a face of a region that is uh, proud of being all Cameroonians. And uh, the activities are going to make us uh, feeling the living together and uh, also to to see how uh, some people are talented in some uh, aspects in some fields general march pass years us in douala will take place on friday 18th of may as from 10 a.m a patriotic march has also been scheduled on the 19th this 2018 edition of the national day will be celebrated under the theme Cameroonian citizens, let us remain united in diversity and preserve social peace for a stable, indivisible and prosperous Cameroon. In prelude to the National Day celebrations, this meeting with various regional heads in Boya was to examine, plan and strategize for a successful 20th May celebrations. During this first preparation meeting, presided at by the Southwest Governor Bernard Okala Bilai, he stated that this year's 20 May celebrations falls within a similar context of insecurity plaguing the region as it was the case last year due to the ongoing Anglophone crisis. Therefore, to ensure the success of this year's National Day celebrations, the population of the Southwest region were called upon to show a sense of patriotism and collaboration by actively taking part in various activities relating to 20 May celebrations. On their part, security officials present say there is a need to rekindle effective communication to assist them execute their duties, which is to ensure the security of the Southwest population. To principals and head teachers, their worries remain that of convincing parents so that they can send their children to march, but are however hopeful for a positive turnout of their pupils and students come May 20. Talking about innovations, to accompany this year's 20 May celebrations in Boya will be the participation of various villages in the March Pass as traditional rulers were charged to mobilize their subjects as the day approaches. To ensure a successful organization of the National Day celebrations, 12 committees were created at the end of this first preparatory meeting, which held in Boya. With the city of Douala counting over 2.8 million inhabitants and hundreds of thousands more incoming each year, the problem of food security is facing enormous challenges and in the bid to redress this situation and offer a decent nutrition for all, a three-day workshop has been opened in Douala. The challenges that urban areas are facing today are huge because of the rapid growth of the urban population. This is the first challenge that you have to accommodate. Cities have to adapt to these trends. Population is growing very rapidly. And the pace is difficult to match with activities that city can develop. This is the first one. The sec second one is that with, with this ra very rapid pace of urbanization comes the development of slums. And poor people tend to be excluded from the food system and cannot access food. And this needs to be changed. At the same time, we'll see the triple burden of malnutrition where people are, where obesity is becoming very important. At the same time, there are very important nutrient deficiencies. Um, and 
very difficult, a lot of difficulty to access food. So this training workshop on the system of urban nutrition organized by the Douala City Council in collaboration with the Food and Agricultural Organization will be geared towards putting forth ways in combating malnutrition and improving the urban feeding policy. What we are going to work on here with all the stakeholders of the food system under the leadership of the community uh, of the Douala is to try to develop the tools to first assess the food system, to understand how it works, because we can't do much if we don't understand how it works, and then to try to develop strategies, plans, and activities to address the shortcomings of the food systems. There is no silver bullet. There is no solution that all the cities can, adapt, can, can use. They need to innovate. They need to adapt. And this can only be based on the willingness and the commitments of all the stakeholders, including, including the local governments. This workshop will also provide an insight into the strengths and weaknesses of the food production chain and make it accessible to all as well as encouraging food transformation in the rural zones. The National Electricity Transmission Company, Sonatrel, will have as paramount task reducing the loss on the transmission of over 40% of energy witnessed in the country. This, as it will from May 27, 2018, have exclusive rights in the transportation of electricity taken over from NAO, which was previously in charge of this task. In prelude to this takeover, the state of Cameroon and Sonatrel signed an agreement in Yaoundé in the presence of Watan Energy Minister Gaston Elundu Esomba, who highlighted the fact that this move is in a bid to increase the level of efficiency and clearly spelled out the role of Sonatrel, which is to ensure that the country can boast of electricity in quality and quantity. Following this transition, a part of a new staff will be transferred to Sonatrel, with this change signaling the country's drive to upgrade the electricity transmission network and reform the sector within the period of 2016 to 2022. TV, votre télé.